Can you remember when you were a small child and you didn't have anything to worry about? Because I was just sitting here just for a moment thinking, I, I can remember like just being a really small child and I didn't have anything to worry about. I didn't have any concerns or responsibilities or problems or memories or just that sense of freedom and enjoyment of life. And then I, I really love the example of learning. Uh, it was probably, probably one of the first or earlier things that I learned to worry about was being late for school and how that became a huge thing in my life. And I look back now and I think, wow, yeah, that was, that was a big thing, you know, not being late for school and all that pressure and the parents and the teachers and the expectation. And if you were five minutes late, you know, the sense of panic and concern. And, and then I can see how actually that habit of learning that there were things that I needed to worry about there were things that I needed to be concerned about. There were things that I needed to think about. Um, just continued on throughout the rest of my life. That was the first introduction to it, if you like, that sense of needing to worry about, you know, this is a good, you know, even the night before, worrying about being late to school and you know, what will happen when that, if I'm late and what will the teachers say? And, but actually, it was just. You know, I look back now, it was just being five minutes late to school. It wasn't such a big deal. And um, it is so beautiful to discover that that same carefree, relaxed enjoyment of life actually never went anywhere. All that happened was that I learned all of the things that I needed to worry about, think about, be concerned about, try and control my own thoughts, my own emotions, my own experience, the thoughts and emotions of other people and try and take care of all of those and learned, out how, learned how they should look. You know, they should all look happy and positive, both for me and for everyone that I was around and putting all of my time and energy and concern into how do I bring that about? And what, what, what does happiness mean for me? How do I achieve that? How can I keep everyone else in my life happy? And thinking, thinking and, you know, putting all my time and energy and working out how to do this, how to live this life and working so hard at that. And to come to um, a training and a place and a centre like this in Goa where I am told that um, actually you can just relax for a, an instant and allow everything to be as it is. At the beginning, was <laughs> I found it really kind of, what do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's not what I do. You know, I, I worry, I think, I, I work things out, I, I try and control everything that's going on. And what, what did you say? I can, <laughs> I, I can just relax for a short moment and just stop all of that. No, 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 sorry, that's, that's not the way that things work. That's not what I've learned to do. And, um, but then I heard other things, and I'd always been interested in the nature of reality, in the nature of mind, of intelligence, of identity, you know, these big questions. And I'd looked at lots of different books and listened to different people speak and talked about it with friends and watched different documentaries and movies, and it was a topic that interested me. And when I was told and introduced to open intelligence, which was just as simple as to be open to the suggestion to just stop thinking for a moment and recognize that there is an intelligence that is naturally present and is aware of everything that's going on. I was like, wow, that's... Um, I, I, saw, I found it, I saw it, I, I identified it. I, I, I noticed it was there. Oh, is it gone? Was it gone? I had it for an instant and now it seems to be gone again. And then I was given the suggestion, well, for just for a short moment, why don't you test what happens when you do stop describing everything and thinking about everything and recognize that same open intelligence that you identified when you stopped thinking? Okay, I can do that. I could test that. 
And so I repeated that short moment of just stopping the describing of everything that was going on, stopping trying to manipulate and control everything and just rested naturally, just for an instant, because it was so new, it was so contrary to everything that I'd learned I needed to be doing that it felt really foreign and really kind of, um, um, it was a little bit scary, to be honest. What's going to happen when I stop thinking about everything, worrying about everything? What happens? Will everything just collapse? Will I, will I go mad? Will... And so very gently and very um, cautiously, I began to test out this practice of short moments of just relaxing and allowing everything to be as it was and recognizing the openness of intelligence that was the basis of everything I was experiencing. And as I began to do that, I began to see that everything that I've been trying to control and manipulate and hold in place or get rid of was like a reflection in a big mirror. And actually the space of the mirror, the openness of the mirror didn't change. It was completely constant. It didn't matter what was reflected in the mirror. It didn't matter whether I was feeling happy or sad, whether I was feeling um, sociable or introverted, whether I was um, hot or cold or... All of these different descriptions, by the practice of short moments, of allowing the description to be as it was, I saw that each of the descriptions had the same fundamental quality or property it couldn't be found to have a nature separate or apart from open intelligence. And each time I stopped describing what was going on, I noticed that open intelligence was naturally present. And it didn't matter where I was, who I was with, what I was thinking, what I was feeling, I could identify the same open intelligence. So in my own experience, I began to see that there was something about me that was completely dependable. The descriptions, the reflections in the mirror, were continually changing. And um, it was beautiful just to allow myself to begin to relax with this flow of experience, this stream of data. It was such a relief. It was like this, like this weight I'd been carrying around of trying to understand everything, trying to make sense of it, doing my best, just to let that load drop. And it was like this weight just lifted from my shoulders. And there was an immediate recognition of actually this fundamental dignity and openness and care and capacity as a human being that I'd always known that I'd had was immediately available. Now that was something that I wasn't expecting from such a simple instruction, but that was my own direct experience. And that was so... <laughs> Um, attractive and something that was so um, of so much interest and gave me an immediate <coughs> beneficial result. I just wanted more of it. It was just obvious. I, I want more of this. I want to be this clear, powerful, dignified human being that I'd always known that I actually was and yet somehow I could never kind of live up to that. And so by relaxing the need to describe everything that was going on and returning to this original openness that was always the basis of my experience. I just trained myself to focus in on the descriptions rather than recognizing the open intelligence that was the basis of the descriptions. With this simple shift in emphasis in how I was using my mind, this original dignity was immediately restored or recognized to be there. And the more I relied on it, the more I saw the results of doing that, increasing um, mental and emotional stability, increasing ease in relating with myself and with other people, um, a clarity of mind and understanding. It's like, well, who wouldn't want more of that? So I just continued on. And then as I began to listen to the media on the website, this recognition grew brighter and brighter and brighter. And it was quite funny, some of the different thoughts that came up along the way, like, um, um, like I, I can't recognize open intelligence. Now, if I start to think about that, it gets really confusing and I can easily convince myself that, yeah, well, actually, I don't know what open intelligence is. I thought I did, 
but when I begin to think about it, I'm not sure anymore. And maybe I can't recognize open intelligence. <laughs> but when we recognize instinctively that the thought, I don't recognize open intelligence, is also, like all other experiences, nothing other than a reflection in this bright mirror. So if we were looking at a mirror and it had in the reflection of the mirror, um, you can't see a mirror. <laughs> The, we would laugh, and that is exactly the same response when the thought comes up, I don't recognize open intelligence. The only way that you can have that thought is because you have open intelligence. And you begin to laugh, and the game is up, and you can really relax. Really relax the need to, just to struggle with our own experience. And... Um, the more I began to participate in everything that was offered here, the brighter and brighter this recognition grew of actually my, my true capacity as a human being. You know, really unlocking my capacity to be a loving, caring, powerful, um, easeful human being. And that's what I'd always wanted in my life. I'd wanted to feel comfortable in my own skin with who I was with all of my unpredictable experiences, crazy thoughts, you know, wild, raging emotions, the difficulties of relating with other people, how do I find the stability to respond in a way that is dignified and powerful in those situations? And I've seen that this is something I can train up. This is not something that happens kind of just randomly. This is something I can participate in my own education of my mind, <laughs> empowering it to be increasingly available and open to see what will be of most benefit to myself and everybody in that situation. And so it's not a passive thing. I can actively participate in this education. And um, that was just mind-blowing for me. You know, I can choose how I want to live my life. I can continue being a victim to all of my thoughts, emotions and experiences and it, it was just, a, everything was a struggle. It, it was all a struggle. Even when it was all going really well, I still had to try and manipulate and control and hold that positivity in place and so there was always a tension, even when it was going really well. And sometimes it didn't go well. And um, the uncertainty of trying to control circumstances can be really challenging because the reality is is that we can't control our circumstances you know I think that you know if I stay in Goa then that will make me really happy and then I wake up the next morning and nothing has changed and I'm absolutely miserable and lonely so I can't control my circumstances so what is certain what, what, is, what has no need to be controlled? And that is open intelligence. It is the intelligence that experiences the thought, um, I have no idea what's going to happen. And it experiences the thought, I know exactly what's going to happen now. It's the same open intelligence. And the more you identify that and get familiar with it, the more clearly you see everything that's going on as it really is. Not as an imagined reality, but just the clear seeing of everything as it is. And this is actually who we are as human beings. We're simply learning what we've already known, what we've always known about ourselves. Now we are these loving, powerful, beautiful human beings. I just learned that I needed to behave and needed to manage my experience in a certain way. And now I'm actually seeing I can live in a different way. There's something about me that is completely dependable and when I recognize that and rely on open intelligence, everything changes. And um, so the invitation here is to, to test out the practice of short moments and to, to discover for yourself what difference it makes when for short moments, whenever you naturally remember in a really relaxed way, when you take a short moment of allowing the descriptions to flow on by and recognize open intelligence. And then if you're open and you're interested, the website is just full of free media that you can download and you can listen to. And you can test out what happens when you listen to it. 
does open intelligence, does the ease of being, does your capacity to relate with increasing openness and love, compassion and power become more and more obvious? It may not be obvious in all circumstances immediately. But for myself, I could see that there was this increase in openness. And sometimes I still collapsed into the descriptions. But those times as I participated became less and less frequent and the collapse into the descriptions about what was going on was um, for a briefer and briefer time. More and more quickly I could restore this dignity and this openness, this power as a human being to be of benefit. And um, that continues to be the, the case. I participate wherever I am all around the world. There are communities all around the world of people making the choice to rely on open intelligence and using the support to empower that recognition. So you can decide to go and spend time with people that are also making this choice and that's a huge support. Like I mentioned, there's the so much on the website, thousands of hours of free media that just confirms this reality for you. And it's so powerful to hear that. There are trainers from all around the world speaking many different languages that you can go to and you can ask questions. And they will just share their experience of relying on open intelligence. And because we're all so similar, when we hear other people's experience, it's really helpful, it's really supportive. It clarifies our own experience. So it's this support network that is designed to be used wherever you are. So it's not just here in the beautiful centre in Goa. Open intelligence and the four mainstays are available wherever you go. And for me that is unique. And not just unique but essential. When I went back to England after I met this training in India to discover it was the same open intelligence in the middle of Oxford Street. It was the same open intelligence experiencing everything that I experienced there as it was sitting on the beach here in Arambol. The same. Now that is dependable. Didn't change, the descriptions were totally different. The intelligence experiencing them all was exactly the same. So this is the end of the season here, but it's just the beginning of everything else that happens all around the world with Balanced View. So come to the website, come to the information table, find out more. It's all there. Everything is there. If you want to train up open intelligence in your own life, it's just up to you. And um, just want to finish by saying just incredible thanks and gratitude. Everything that happens here is done by us. All, all of us create everything that happens here. This whole place is financed by us. The thousands of dollars that go to making this happen and making the training available for anyone that wants it is all contributed by us, by you. This is amazing, this is incredible. So really give yourselves a big hand and a big gratitude for everything you've done to make this happen. This is just incredible. You know, look how beautiful it is here. You walk in through the gate and there's this there's this warmth, there's this easygoing openness that's so, so rare and this is really what the world needs now. People being normal, open-hearted, practical, solution-oriented, caring people. This is what we need in the world. And this is what you can train up and contribute to if you really want to. So really from the heart, thank you so much everybody for making this possible. You know, so many people pour so much time and love and energy into everything that happens here and it's, it's just incredible to see. You know, demonstration of what we're capable of, of as humans in society and as a species. You know, we, we can live in harmony. In each of us with our own unique crazy display, that's all included and yet able to work together with harmony, love and cooperation.